Hey, it's Shannon from the Animize, and today we're going to talk about the video that I shot, Parking in Two Spaces. Um, if you click here, you can actually watch that video before we discuss it, so watch that first. Uh, so I've got Bert alongside me. Hello. Um, so that video got about 530, 540,000 views, um, and it was obviously about parking in two spaces. Now, there seems to be a lot of comments, um, a lot of people getting their nose getting bent out of joint on this one. So we're going to address it. Um, there was a lot of media um, exposure about this as well. I'm not saying it's because of me, but who knows, it released on the same week. Um, so me and Bert are going to have a look at some comments, discuss it all, and um, see what you guys thought about it. Cool. Let's do this. First up. Go for it. Go on then. So we've got, uh, we've got 1976T Alexander. Tesco should have a large space marked flash wanker prick. Then you, can, <laughs> then you can park that old polluter there. You then can park that old polluter there. That's not very nice. Not very nice, but I think he's got a bit of a point. Okay, what's his point? Right, to be fair, a lot of the spaces are all exactly the same, aren't they? Yeah. There should technically be a bigger space for the bigger cars. So like you get parent and child spaces and whatever else. Okay. Allow for bigger spaces, bigger yeah. cars, whatever. Um, so yeah, in a way he's got a point, but you just wouldn't label it up flashbang prick. Okay, you'd probably label it up four by four, yeah. um, something along those lines. Let's, let's just get this clear from the start though. This video that I shot, it doesn't mean that I park in two spaces. I shot this video for obviously the discussion for people to talk about it. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to clear it up from the start. Because you lot kept going in on me, I was shooting it, I parked like that for the video. Anyway, next one, Sam Hayden. If I see a car parked like that, I'm going to on the window. So, um, um, my suggestion on that really is if you're doing that in a Tesco's Sainsbury's car park, go in and get some toilet paper first. That's it. And I hope you're really tall because I've got a Range Rover and it's quite a big car. Shawnee Nugent. Um, yeah, he should be making this video. He should sell his 60k car and use the sorry, money. Sorry, sorry. 60k? 60k. 60k? Maybe it's depreciated. Okay, it's definitely not 60k. Um, double it and add a little bit more. But okay, anyway. I get the point. And use the money on some more effing driving lessons if he can't fit in if fit his car into that space. Okay. Surely you missed the point, mate. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Okay, it goes back to the fact that, as I said, this video, I keep saying it, this video wasn't about me parking in two spaces. It's a, it's a discussion that a lot of people park in two spaces and why do they do that? Um, but are there people that can't park in the space? A lot of people, you see a lot of people that do take over, they've parked a little bit too far to the left, so I wouldn't say they park bank centre, but parking lessons, maybe not for me, but I get your point. And next one is Screaming Freeman. He's got two points here. <laughs> Number one, you are a <laughs> sucker. Okay, wait, let's just address that. He's obviously not talking about me. No. He's talking about people that park in two spaces. If you're so well off, pay someone to watch your car, problem solved. Okay, so you're saying that if you're well off, you should hire someone 24 hours to watch your car when you're out and about. <laughs> really? Get a driver then, if you're that well off. Yeah, you why know, do people sort of, like to drive? How far do you want to take this? Yeah, I'm not sure about having security for my car. Um, I, I don't even know what to say about that. And what's the last thing? And now that's worked out, how do we get you to stop? <laughs> He's gone back to point one. Um, yeah, that's not good. Yeah, okay, screw it. Next. Next. What's this? Steamax. You're just asking to get vandalised parking like that. Okay, valid point. True story. A lot of comments did say about if I saw someone park that they'd key the car or they'd do something to the vehicle. I don't park like that. Um, I don't agree with someone keying someone else's property, um, whether they park like an idiot or not. It's not It's not clever. You wouldn't like it if they'd done it to you. You wouldn't like it if your car was parked correctly and someone crashed into you. So why just because you're parked a certain way should someone feel they can damage and, your car? And let's be honest, if it's someone that's not very good at parking, they don't deserve to be vandalized if they're not very good at parking, right? Yeah, if they park just slightly too far over. So I get your point, but definitely don't get your car vandalized. People shouldn't be doing that. Uh, Phil, yeah. Phil, yeah. Get a smaller car, mate, to match your smaller <laughs> Obviously, he's not talking about he's not me talking again. About us <laughs> he's again. talking about the people that park like that. Um, you but, say a smaller car, but why? why? Why should we have to buy a smaller car or not buy an expensive car? Because people may need a bigger car. If I've got five kids and a dog and I want to get all the shopping in, I can't take a small car. 
So, but it's not. I may need the big. But car. going back, it's not about the smaller car saying that you should park, get a smaller car. It's the fact of the matter that people don't care when they open their doors. So whether you've got a big car or a small car, if people just swing the door open, it doesn't matter what car's sitting in that space, and you're too far over on one side, you're going to hit something. So again, and the smaller thing, you're probably right about that. Next, next. Come on. Wow, I can't even read that. What's that saying? Latin lover. I just scratch cars with my keys every time I see people park like this. Doesn't everyone? Not really, mate. And to no. be honest, if someone who parks like that saw you scratching their car, I'd probably say, God help you, pal. Because if someone, if I saw someone scratching my car, yeah, we'll One pass thing, over that. like an idiot is another thing vandalising someone's property. On yeah, that. there's too much talk about everyone saying they're going to keep someone's car. Can I just quickly go back on that? It's had 72 likes on that comment. So there's 73 people in total that are really not smart. That agree with that. that. agree with that. Come on. That's cool. So you've got Tabaluka. I'll park right next to him. If he has the right to park between two spots, so do I. Yeah, he's got a point. Okay, the problem with that is that if that car, if there's a car out there that's parked between two spots and now you park between two spots um, and someone sees that, so now you've got two cars parked in between four spaces as such, would it be four spaces or would it be three? Three, four. Three, four, whatever. whatever. It just makes you wrong as well, really. And then you risk your car getting keyed as well. So like you've got two, two damaged cars, you're both wrong, you're both in the like idiots. Even though you feel that you're just making a point, you're gonna look wrong, yeah. so don't do that. Um, X Sir Dingo, here is the solution. Here's the solution. Let me hear. Wow, he's got a solution. Okay, park in the back of the lot. He's obviously American. In one of the end spaces and park as close to the curb as you can. Problem solved. I agree. Fair play, because I actually do that. I agree with that. If you're parking at the back of a car park, whether you park in two spaces, one space at the side. I agree with that because I don't think you're disturbing anyone. Car parks are massive nowadays and very rarely are they full, um, especially the far end. So if you're parked in the corner, not disturbing no one, I agree. And even this parking next to a curb, because obviously that means you're only risking one side open on your car. I usually try and find an end spot um, where possible or I will park far, far away in the corner because I don't want my car damaged. Um, so I agree with that. that, that's actually a very good point. Wow, I'm actually going to have to hold this because it seems like an essay. Right, so what's this guy called? Er Eroke. You are so wrong on so many levels. One, we're going to address these one by one. Okay, go An expensive car is your problem. Don't, don't involve other people to it. So what are we saying then? So, so okay, Eroke. Saying don't buy an expensive car? Okay, why should you buy an expensive car is the first question I ask. Um, you okay. buy what you can let, afford, right? Let me, let me ask you this question then. So you've got an expensive car parked in two spaces, okay? And people feel it's okay to key that car because it's an expensive car. If you've got a less expensive car that maybe it's got dents, even got key marks, would the same person key a cheaper car or a car that's already damaged compared to a car that's expensive? Probably not. Are we now opening up a bigger issue here about people being... Are we doing a, a class war? Is this what this is? If someone's got an expensive car, does it entitle you to damage it? Because yeah. Because of the type of car, they've obviously got money, they can afford to repair it. Yeah. It doesn't work like that. And that is not... <sighs> the problem is, I have nice cars, and a lot of my friends around me have nice cars as well. And just because you have a nice car doesn't mean that someone should be able to damage your car. And just because you've got a cheap car doesn't mean that you shouldn't damage that car. At the end of the day, if someone works hard and they've got a nice car, cool. Yeah, don't park like an asshole. but if you're going to treat someone with an expensive car, one way, treat someone with a banger exactly the same way, but you wouldn't because you think that he's got an expensive car, he's flash, he can afford to fix it. I, I disagree. And what if it's not even his car? Okay, number two, what if someone is in a hurry and you've taken over two spaces? What the f You think about yourself, but you are poor in the brain. Again, this, this guy seems to be making everything about money and about wealth. It's not about wealth, it's not about money, it's about parking in two spaces. It doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, people do it because they're trying to protect their cars or they can't park in an individual space and they end up parking far over. Yeah. Let's just straight to point three. If you have an expensive car, you have money. Again, back to the money. No, if you have an expensive car, true. you have money to spend. Not you true. can rent a parking space. Don't be a cheap bastard. You put Not shit. true. Not true. I disagree. Like I say, it might not be that person's car. And how are you renting a parking space in Sainsbury's or Tesco's? 
Who knows? That might happen in the future. You might be able to rent a parking space and pay I, more money for that area. But what they should do then is probably have two car parks in Tesco's, one that you pay for and one that you don't. So, okay, I so you still, have, you still have... have got money, will say, all right, well, I don't mind spending £2.10 to go in and park my car, knowing that I'm going to go into the, a car park full of nice cars. Whereas the cheap people... With the bigger spaces, obviously. Are gonna go, yeah, with bigger spaces, whatever it is. Whereas the cheap people, if you want to put it in terms of money, will go into the regular car park. And they don't care about their car and getting whatever. Parked. And if you, like, the spaces are like half the size, so they don't even fit a car. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like <laughs> okay, number four. That would work. Every car can be bumped in the door by an ass, not just an expensive one. The difference is that you have the money to repair it. Again. Whether you have the money to repair it or not, that's not the point. So does that mean that if I come into your house and steal your TV, does it make it any different if you go into someone's mansion and steal their TV? It's the same thing, you're still stealing or you're still damaging someone's property, whether you've got money you don't have. <sighs> Number five, so far it's all about money. Number five, doing this means that you're a fucking annoying retidy prick that only, that only think about yourself overall in life. Don't be an annoying retidy prick that think only about yourself overall in life. Was he repeating it? Was he he actually re <laughs> I actually repeated that, but he actually repeated it here. He's not talking about me, he's talking about in general. Eric is, he seems, he seems to be very bitter about the money situation and pe people doing well in it's life. He's obviously struck a chord for him for something like this to really get him. But no, you're gonna, I'm just, I'm just reading ahead now, looking at the last one. Number cool. six, his final point. Having manners, being decent and polite, that's more useful than an expensive car and people will like it more than a car, except gold diggers, LMAO, laughing my ass off. Um, say that again, so, something about manners. I've, I've got manners. Okay, he, he quite and I'm a decent happy. and polite person, um, and I know you're not talking about me, but obviously I have an expensive car, so I'm talking from people that have nice cars. The majority of us are actually quite nice people. Just because you have money doesn't mean you're an ass. No. Um, Nick Smith, I've got a £30,000 Beamer and never part like that. If you can afford the car, you can afford the repair. Simple. I, yeah, but again, they're just, everyone's sort of bringing it back to money and whether you can afford to damage someone's car or not, or they can afford to repair it or not. It's not about that. It's about the fact that I won't go walking down the street and punch someone in the face because he looks hot. <laughs> he, he can take he that can punch. Take, he can take, I won't he, knock him out. He, he, he looks like he's a boxer, he can take that. But it, that's not how it works. You have to go and whether you're, I don't know, dealing with someone that sweeps the streets or you're dealing with the queen, you're still treating with the same respect and whatever else and it still goes to their property as well or what they have. It's the same thing. It's just common courtesy, manners, I'm hoping there's a really? comment here from someone on the other side. £30,000 BMW, mate, ain't cheap. That's an expensive car. But saying that they can afford to repair it, again, it's like saying, well, if someone steals your car, you can afford to replace it. Your £30,000 car could be a complete one-off with a unique paint job. You may not want to be respraying it because you'll devalue the car, depending on what it is, if it's original paintwork. Do you see yeah. what I mean? Lilo, it's a tiny spot on your car. What the f***? So obviously this guy's talking about my, my specific Range Rover where it's dented on the side. If someone takes pride and care in their car, pride and joy like I do, a tiny spot on your car, if your car's immaculate, is a problem. If your car's covered in dents or scratches, it ain't gonna bother you. My car's mint, so it has bothered me and it's on both my doors either side. So for me on that point where it's um, actually targeted at myself, yeah, it bothers me. Right, next one. From the Soviet Gutter Cat. Nice name. I bought a new car. In the first week, it got three dents in the panels from people opening their doors into it. I now park in two spaces every day. Problem solved, no dents in over a year. If people don't give a stuff about my car, I don't care if they can't find a spot. Old people are the worst. It stems from back in the day when all cars had the big plastic mouldings down the entire length of the side. You could open your door and leave it on the other car, no problems. They still do that now, even when there is no protection. Children are bad too. It's the parents' fault for not teaching them to not to damage other people's property. I sort of agree with the last bit of that. Okay. Because monkey see, monkey do, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, if your kid is around you and you're open the door, whack, whatever, the kid's gonna do the same, right? Yeah. If you're respectful to other people's property as a 
parent, you should be teaching your child certain things. So when you come out of the car, don't swing the door open. Yeah, but it's only if you care. But that's care. protecting your car as but well. It's only if you care, though. Pe people are not always passionate about cars. So, okay. It doesn't let's... have to be a car. Okay, so let's let's it be anything there. in life. Uh, everyone knows I love cars. So cars is my passion. Um, it's my business. Everything I do. So let me throw something out there to you guys. So think about something that you guys are passionate about, whether it be um, whatever trainers, yeah, yeah, trainers, trainers or um, anything personal possession. So watches, clothes, or clothes, or anything okay. like that. Okay, we'll we'll do trainers. Trainers. I know loads of people that that are a mental, mental, mental about trainers. Spend big money. Granted, you don't need to leave your trainers anywhere like I do with a car, but if you had to leave your best pair of trainers, like your Yeezys, your limited edition ones, your Jordan somewhere, and then when you went back to them, they're damaged, how would you feel? If someone done it because, oh well, they're, they're a nice pair of Jordans, I know I'm never gonna be able to afford them, so I'm gonna damage them. Would that bother you? It's the same as a car. It's something that you're passionate about. So cars are something that me and a lot of my followers and my customers are passionate about. So flip it around to something that you really care about, that you really like, your jumper, your... Just anything. Just anything, a, anything that you own anything that's, that's you personal. Really if someone damaged, would it bother you? So that goes out to the people that keep saying about, I'd keep someone's car. So tell me something that you like, and if someone done it to you, how would you feel? Gunslinger 26, what a twat. I'd hit your car on purpose. Okay, it's not me parking like that, and I keep saying it, it's, you're obviously addressing that to people that park like that. You'd, you'd hit the car on purpose, but with your own car? So obviously you don't care about your car. I assume. <laughs> <laughs> I've got nothing to say to them. Next up is uh, from someone called I Like Stuff, and he's simply, or she has simply put, everything's wrong with it, you park like a simple. Agreed. Totally agree. Yeah, if you park like that, yeah, you are. A if you want to use that word. Um, as I said, I don't park like that, so I agree with what you're saying. I probably chose different kind of words. Um, but whether you park in two spaces, if you park in disabled spots, if you haven't got children, you park in um, children's bays. Yeah, you're, you're an idiot for parking like that. Disabled, never. Children's spots, whatever. Two spaces. It's a grey area. I don't do it, but I understand why people do it, especially if you've got a nice car. So, can I also say on the children's spaces, you can't just have a child seat in the back of the car and still use that space with no children. I hope you you're telling yourself that, Bert. I, I do, hundred percent guaranteed. If <laughs> you drive around with park, you drive around with a baby seat in your car. Yeah, because I pick up my son and whatever else. But from if Tesco's, I go to Tesco's, he works at Tesco's. He's one and a half. But if I go to Tesco's and I'm on my way home and I haven't picked up my son, I'm not going to use the child space. It's uh, not right. Okay, Oliver Grainy. I think people that do this are ass. <laughs> you feels passionate. Okay, and young again, Oliver. I agree. People that part like that, okay. But I just, I understand their point. Um, I'd rather you put a bit more, a bit more with that comment, Oliver, rather than just cussing, but okay. Uh, the same difference. You're an absolute <laughs> kid. Buy a cheaper car than you egg. <laughs> it's not about the car. We've said it before. It's not about the car. As in, it's about that, someone damaging your property, about damaged. leaving your car somewhere and coming back and it being damaged. That is what it's about. Um, and I like it. Um, mainframe, I see cars parked like that and I introduce it to my big set of keys. Again with the keys. Oh, Janet, I hope it don't happen to you, mate. Or if it does, something about you like. Right, uh, <clears throat> Dr. Jono, what a self-entitled <laughs> head. He thinks he's allowed to park like a because he spent more money on a car and doesn't want it damaged. No one wants their car damaged. Splash. <laughs> okay. He's right. No one wants it. We agree with that. We agree with you, Dr. John Oak. Well done. Doctor. Doc. Um, but yeah, he's missed the point again of the video. Boring. So. Go. Next. Kamakahu. Your parking sucks. By disagreeing, if you think you're entitled, comma, damage to your car could be worse. I'd rather have. <laughs> I can't even read it. I'd, ra I'd rather have a small dent instead of risk someone keying my car. Look for another space than walk. Okay, yeah. But it goes back to the point of parking far away. So I get what you're saying. Um, but you're accepting the dent. The punctuation is not fantastic, but I'm not the best when it comes to school. You so. can't accept a dent. She or he or she is saying 
that they'd rather have a dent than rather than and risk someone keying my car. I don't want either. Yeah. So your car's getting damaged either way. A dent or someone keying your car, it's a similar thing. But I'm asked Nigel, this should be good. You're lucky you're living in the UK, otherwise your British action speaking, Middle Eastern looking, stupid face would be trashed. No matter what car you are driving here in Oz, dumb fuck. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, I think that's personal against me, that, that one. That is very personal. I think, I think that's against me, I that one. I think he might be talking about you. Okay, um, Oz, from Oz. Okay. So, Middle Eastern. Greek, Cyprus, Middle Eastern. Uh, yeah. Because I've got a tan, obviously. So that was quite a few comments uh, that we've found. Um, to be honest, there is hundreds of comments um, and some people really, really went in deep. So if you haven't seen the video or you're interested in having a look at some of the comments, listen, you can click up there and you can see it and go into actually the comments and have a good read of them um, and comment, comment yourself and let us know what you think. We also put up two polls in the cards. Um, one of them was the best solution, and the other one was what do you think of people parking two spaces? Now, I've seen this, and yeah. this is um, this is quite surprising. So, for the best solution, we put five up: parking two spaces, park next to prep old cars, park far from the store entrance, buy a smaller car, hire a security guard. Sixty-nine percent of people said parking two spaces. Now, that is shocking based on the comments that we've received. The comments would say that, buy a smaller car, hire a security guard, but 69% of you guys said parking two spaces. And it's acceptable. They feel it's acceptable. Okay. Okay, and, and the second part of this poll, what do you think, what do you think of people who park in two spaces? And the two were, agree if they have a nice car, disagree, one rule for all. This is massive. 82% of people said agree if they have a nice car. You're, all 82% of you are wrong. Doesn't matter, I, I'm with the minority here. 17%. It's one rule for all. You, doesn't matter where we, like we said, we've said it all along this video, doesn't matter what car you drive, whatever. Whether you have money, don't have, have money. money. whatever. Park in the space. Park or in space. park in the space or park far away. Or just, yeah, all right, I'll, I'll give you that one. Park far away where you don't disturb anyone, fine, not a problem. But you can't agree if you have a nice car that you're allowed to do what, really? Yeah, what what I've seen from, from, this, from these comments um, and shooting this video is that there seems to be an issue with regards to people with money, people without money. I don't care whether you've got money or you haven't. I've come from no money. Okay, I have a little bit of money now and I have a nice car, I have a couple of nice cars. However, you can't damage people's property just because they have a nice car or a nice item. Um, and you're opening up a can of worms. You, you damage someone's car in a car park. Um, a lot of you know my cousin, Mike the Hulk. You key his car in a car park, he's gonna teach you a lesson in that car park and you don't care if he goes to prison. So you could actually really cause yourself a lot of trouble here. Someone could find out where you live, they could harm your kids, because you thought, you know what, I'm gonna key this, car, this guy's car. Don't do it, it's, it's not clever. If you really wanna address someone that's part like that, wait for them till they come out and pull them up on it. If you're that brave that you're gonna key someone's car. Have an adult conversation. Yeah, ask them, say, listen, why are you parking like that? And if you're gonna be that cocky, key the car in front of them and see what happens. I doubt you'd do it. Um, but as I said, this, this to me was, was, was a great video on the back of the parking two spaces because it seemed to affect a lot of people. There was great comments, um, great discussion about it. Um, I enjoyed shooting it. I'm gonna try and do more of these sort of videos because uh, I think they work. Um, but as I said, watch the previous video if you haven't seen it. Have a look at all the comments. Comment some more down below. And um, from myself and Bert, we'll do some more of these videos. Take care, we'll see you soon. Yeah, later. Bye bye. Uh, I think you're doing very wrong because you stay for two space. Tesco is very, very busy. Okay. And to stay for two, two space is a problem for next people. Okay, but do you know why I park like this? I don't know why. Okay, so this is quite a big car. Yeah. So if I park in a single space, yeah. my worry 